management capabilities, um, we are a strong part in this major part of any project, which is the quality and the test method. Um, a little looking um, in, the, in the future, but very in near future, is also the possibility to use Cloud ALM as a proxy to connect your or the customer's um, ITSM or ticket system with the SAP backbone, yeah, with the support backbone. So we, we declared um, Cloud ALM as the tool that is required to connect and to enable then the appropriate support process between your ticket system or from your customer. Um, another huge um, use case is the, the BTP observability. Yeah? So I think also here we heard yesterday and we have uh, special sessions here as well um, that with our static user monitoring, it's very strongly recommended to monitor all your BTP extensions. If you are in the build business and you build extensions, that also Cloud ALM provides you with many great features um, to observe your BTP extensions. Um, so if you run AMS business, uh, so here with Cloud ALM, you can set up appropriate notifications or appropriate with the, let's say, enhancement with a focused run. You can run an, either, uh, an even bigger uh, AMS business with our tools with Cloud ALM in combination with focused run. And last but not least, uh, we are still and certainly one of the core elements in the whole transformation business. Yeah? When we look in where we're starting with LeapMix, where uh, Signal, we have Tricendis, we have of course Cloud ALM as one element um, for those partners or for those customers who really would like to use all our tool chain of the transformation management. So many arguments and, and many roles where Cloud ALM is very crucially embedded um, in what you as a partner uh, are driving with your customers. So most frequent question is of course, uh, how can I get enabled? Yeah, and um, we have plenty, and I will certainly not go in all of them, um, but we have a mixture of, let's say, assets, so for any customer, for everybody, but also some that we are doing in a very close collaboration with our partner um, ecosystem success, so our partner management in SAP, um, they are very dedicated and, and only for partners. So the gray ones here, you can, you can find um, and um, yeah, some of them I will highlight a little so that you also see uh, what is behind, but just that you get an, an understanding. There are many training, many services, um, many portals where you can find information, uh, uh, individual um, contact like PDMs, your partner delivery managers as your first contact when it comes to, uh, to the information um, and using of, of Cloud ALM. But let me highlight some um, of them because um, it's definitely important that you have several levels covered in your, in your company. Yeah? So we, we would say a level one is certainly something everybody should know about. Yeah? Because if your customer is asking about Cloud ALM, your pre-sales, your, your, all your consultants should be able to explain and to know what, what is the thing. And what we try is, of course, we to help you to give you the right assets. How can you learn about it? How can you enable yourself? I mean, there's a lot of self-enablement that we, let's say, push first. And um, in some cases, we have also one-to-few or one-to-one, -one, yeah? like trainings or specific services that are available that you can also um, consume. On the level of uh, agreement with SAP, um, but in general, we have something offered for, for, every, uh, for every partner. So let's say for L1, um, we have here our enablement uh, portal, uh, our learning, many, let's say, quick overview assets that you can, that you can look at um, to understand what is the purpose, what are the value, and this is definitely not going in the deep functionalities. This is something where we would more recommend on level two. So that is the level where I expect the project consultant, project members should have, meaning they should know how to use the tool, um, how, which functionality is there, and um, how to use it in the best way. So also here we have um, trainings, yeah, implementing, but also for operations, 
uh, we have the appropriate learning journey for portals where you can learn about that. In a one-to-one, -one, we have then appropriate services. Yeah? Does everybody know the uh, uh, benefits catalog? Who does not know partner benefit catalog? Uh, still a few. Um, you should look into it. It's part of the uh, partner portals. And very, very helpful because this is offering many services uh, for free, or how's it called, for benefit or something like that, yeah? Um, and others for very low cost uh, um, uh, money. But at the end, it's, it's helping and, and providing services um, for any topic, not only for Cloud ALM. I mean, you can find any, any partner, uh, any topic somehow covered. So very recommended. Um, of course, we also provide from Cloud them, our trainings, CALM 20, CALM 40, CALM 60, now very new. I, I'll come to that on the next slide. Um, and um, even for the L3, and this is where we see one or two person per partner should also be maybe a deeper expert. Somebody who they can coach the others, who is an expert, who can maybe collaborate with us in deep dive questions. So that is also our recommendation to have at least a one or two people, depending on, on your size, of company um, that know deeper um, cloud ALM and also here we are recommending regular communities. Um, we have our councils where, where people can can uh, engage with us and so on. So the typical starting point and that's if some if a partner asked me the first time how can I, I, I heard about cloud ALM, how can I learn, um, what can you recommend, I basis point them first to our um, learning journey, the partner-specific learning journey. This is splitted in these levels, and this is also splitted in the different area if you want to, if you're interested in AMS or operations business or more implementation business. Um, one part of this learning journey is also where you hear this so-called Cloud LM partner adoption. Um, it's a quick test, some questions, and um, yeah, just to show that you have a basic uh, uh, knowledge about Cloud ALM and you would also get here such a so-called skill badge um, at the end. But all, let's say the trainings that I mentioned and also the PD, the, the partner benefits catalog services are well structured here in these tiles. So my recommendation is starting point. And just recently um, we really launched a new training um, I would definitely would say it's a level two training. To, uh, we call this uh, the transformation uh, or solution transformation with SAP Cloud ALM. So there are some parts of Linux and Tricentis and uh, parts as well included, but the focus is definitely about Cloud ALM. So therefore it's, it's a very good training that you can do in a self-consumption way. And what is now, and I just heard it yesterday out of the keynote because it was very on, on, on short notice that also the certificate related to this currently seems to be available also now since, since yesterday. That's a very, very hot news. Um, but it's, it's related to it. Yeah? And with that, you can now also get your certification, um, which will play next year also a major role in the whole uh, partner competence area as well. Just a little outlook um, that let's say we will we will look into um, partners who have certifications in cloud ALM and this has then impact in the in the competence framework. Um, another can consume and where we where we try to reach out to the to the partners is our uh, partner. So um, we delivered several of them this year. Um, I think one is still outstanding. Um, and two has been moved or postponed, let's say, into next year. Um, so this is a one day where we explain all uh, cloud ALM. It's not a training, hands on training, but uh, we give a very good in, in, uh, introduction in cloud ALM, make a lot of demos, but all very often from the partner perspective. Yeah. So it's in, uh, also explaining which APIs can you use, how can you bring your own content to cloud ALM. So it's not an, uh, an, a usage training. It's partner-specific um, roadshow. And we plan to continue. It's not decided how many we do. Some of them we will do next year again. And um, feel free to uh, join them. Um, they are also offered, by the way, in this partner benefits catalog. Uh, 
Yeah? If you're in the partner benefits catalog, just search for Cloud ELM, and then you will find all the offerings um, about uh, our tool in this um, catalog. Yeah, it's just a summary of what we are typically doing. Um, yeah, it's, it's really, it's typically one to 30 or one to 40 people. So we have a close engagement. We talk a lot. We discuss a, a your individual topics. So for me, it's important that I'm also can, can build a relationship to you as a, as a partner and, and how you use Cloud ALM. And um, I think it's a, it's a good approach. Okay, um, so far, how this is how you can get an ELK as a partner, or what is what we recommend to which path you can take. Let's have a look into typical partner cases. So this is, let's say, the, the summary of what I learned when I talked with you, or with some of you I did already, with, with, with others. We had also deep uh, discussions. And wh when they explain us what is the need of a partner, I mean, this is... Back to the, the, the tenant situation, yeah? As I said in the beginning, we have typic the customer tenant, which is to the landscape of the customer with all the on-prem and cloud services, of course. And in this customer tenant happens the implementation activities, the operations activities. And in this one tenant, the customer and the partner works together. Um, so that's a, that's a matter of fact. Next to it, it can happen that you also run and you own a uh, own, uh, own, uh, own, uh, cloud ALM tenant. Yeah? Makes sense to explore it. Maybe you build any extensions and you need to, to test it and uh, evaluate it. But also you can use it to build templates, yeah? predefined test cases, predefined requirements, predefined documents, whatever. You maybe as a partner would like to use it in all of your projects. And that's something you can prepare here. This, this is then one of these use cases to provide your templates in all of your projects whenever you are the leading implementation partner. At the same time, you can of course also want in, uh, be interested in data that comes out of several uh, of, your, of your customer tenants. Yeah? And with that, you could build also with our APIs your own dashboard to see the KPIs of how many tasks are assigned to you? Um, what are certain alerts in, in the different monitorings that you would like to see? Or just simply um, configure the notification in your customer tenants that the notification goes out to you. That's a complete new business for many of our system integrators that have done the project far and after go live, they are out. But in the cloud, and we talk about many smaller customers without a huge IT landscape, they are still a lot, uh, still dependent on you to help them after go live. And how can you manage it? The best way is setting up the operations and provide services to your customers to react as soon as you get a notification or you would see it in the, in the alert dashboard. Yeah. So with that, we think also that we open up here with Cloud ALM a complete new business um, for system integrators. Um, yeah, as I said already in the beginning, on top of that, just, uh, just very soon available, or just recently available, is the possibility to get an um, additional tenant. Uh, many partners also ask for that op on obvious reasons, because they are sometimes running their cloud ALM tenant for their own business, for their own productive projects. Yeah? And they don't want to uh, um, combine with their demo landscape or their practice and discover landscape that they are using as a partner. So for those, is now an, uh, a good opportunity. They can use their normal partner tenant as a productive and um, as many additional tenants as they want to build up demo landscape or to do any other uh, um, things they want. Yeah, just to repeat the slide from Nicola, I think who's everybody who's been in the, in the keynote yesterday saw this slide already, just thought I'd bring it in back because um, this, this additional tenant um, was also very strong requirement and requested from the partner community. Yeah? So I think therefore it's important to repeat it here um, for all of you um, who say, yes, we have a tenant, but we don't want to mix up in our uh, one tenant all of 
for customer activities, this is now the, um, the opportunity how you can do it. And as Nicola yesterday explained as well, this is not only the tenant, because with this so-called bundle or additional uh, uh, subscription, you can also, this is of course also true for the customers, extend this eight gigabyte. Yeah? You still have this limit of eight gigabyte memory and al also eight gigabyte of outbound API transfer. If this is not sufficient, I mean, honestly, we, we have 0.01% of all of our customers that really need this extension of, of, the, of the memory. Uh, but yeah, in these cases, they have now also the opportunity to subscribe this tenant. And with this tenant, they automatically fill um, the, um, the memory of their, of their existing tenant. What are typical partner use cases, therefore? We, we just list a few of them, as just as a teaser for you, right? What can you do? And, and maybe you can step in the shoes at the time and think, yeah, why not? Why sh shouldn't we bring our own templates in, in such a use case? Yeah? And one, I mentioned this just before, this is called golden template. Yeah? Create your content and deploy it in all of your projects. So what can be content? Talking about business processes. We have later after the, um, I think after lunch, there's another session here in that room where we have several partners talking how they do it. Some of these use cases they do already today. So if you don't believe me, but believe the, uh, your colleagues, your peers, uh, come back after lunch, they will tell you that some of them are exactly doing this already. Yeah? Like industry processes. We have one day talk about global trade management. In our best practice of S4, we don't have this industry, yeah? But they have the knowledge, they are building additional, whatever, 50 or 60 different processes, more detailed, uh, in Cloud ALM, and they deploy it whenever they start a new project to discuss their fit to standard workshops based on this, on their knowledge. But you can do it, of course, with your own project plan, yeah? Bringing your own methodology. If you have a better thing than activate or a mix of activate and your own, it's possible can bring in baseline requirements, test cases, templates, all of that can be prepared and deployed. Yeah? That's one use case. Another one is the other way around. So extracting data out of multiple tenants. Yeah? You're running many projects in parallel. Your consultants maybe would not like to uh, log in, in in each of every of them and look, what is my task in this tenant? What is my task there? Extract that. We have the, the APIs that allow this. You can build very easily in a BTP. Also had a session last year here at the, at the summit from all Kong. They have built a BTP app, how they get and, and, um, and notifications in one central dashboard um, where they can see in the morning, okay, here I have to do this in uh, customer A, this in customer B, and this in customer C. Of course, these dashboard apps is not possible to do in Cloud ALM. I mean, we don't offer there any dashboard uh, engine tool, so you would need to do this in a third-party tool on the BTP platform or um, in uh, Analytics Cloud. Uh, anything is possible here. And then we have another uh, partner use case, more in the AMS. So um, the combination, as I said, maybe on Cloud ALM and Focus Run. So Focus Run is our multi-tenancy option for, for really partners who are managing the application management business. And it's possible to connect these different cloud ALM systems to Focus Run, so there's a predefined connection, and you can, with that, provide all these information in one central Focus Run. Plus, Focus Run, you can still, of course, manage hybrid environments um, and also manage them in a multiple or in a multiple customer way, yeah? which is not possible, of course, with one single cloud ALM. You cannot connect one cloud ALM to uh, many others. Yeah? That's, that's not foreseen. Um, yeah, and then this, um, yeah, so I, I mentioned it in the first slide, our new opportunity that um, you can use cloud ALM, maybe in your landscape as a, as a proxy. And um, if you provide ITSM services for your customers, you can do so as well. Yeah? So you have here ITSM as a, as a solution. Um, your 
customers can log their tickets, you provide a second level support, and if you would like to forward it to SAP, you use Cloud ALM as a, 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 a dark prop, provides the connection into SAP Backbone, and the, with that you can uh, um, make this uh, back and forth with the ticketing. Um, you also get active uh, notifications and all our AI technology that we are providing in sub for me for the ticket process is also embedded in this feature. Little note, this is a lab preview. This will come um, probably by end of the year, um, but then it will open a new business for you for sub support. Looking into operations, and I also heard some um, very often now this the, we are the openness in operations for non-SAP, and I think this is definitely a very great business also for for, cust uh, for partners. Um, when I think about business process monitoring, every time I do my roadshow, I get this question: um, We have these I don't know 120 KPIs that are coming out of the box, but then yeah, but when I how can I uh, create my own KPI? Yeah? Today, this is not possible, but this is exactly something that we will provide un also until end of the year, that you as a partner can now offer your customer to build any additional KPIs for business process monitoring that they want. Or connect any custom application, any non-SAP application, connecting with our integration and exception monitoring or uh, with the real user monitoring, um, all of that is open uh, and, yeah, let's say, and enhance the business for you as a partner on the base of Cloud ALM. And last but not least, of course, all these extensions that you can build. And uh, I think here we have many partners um, that are doing these little extensions, filling these gaps that we have. Some of the gaps are temporarily, because we see that this will come in the next two years, but partners are sometimes quicker. They provide solutions, and we will see it in the Almaton tomorrow, um, which solutions we have. And maybe just um, a little reminder of how many great solutions out of this community, and I'm sure some of you are, have participated, doing this Almaton now since uh, four years, and we have so many great little solutions where partners identified gaps or little extensions um, that they were developing in the frame of this uh, Almaton. And this is just an, uh, a short overview. And some of them, the blue ones here, really made it even on the store. So this is a possibility that you not only do it for fun, which is, let's say, the, 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 the first reason maybe, but also to make business out of it, to bring it in the store, to commercialize it and have uh, your subscriptions from customers and other partners. And therefore, a little quick outlook on, on what we did this year. I mean, we had this Almaton challenge this year again. Um, we opened it up and said, realize any partner use case. And you see these partner content, cross project, solution manager transition. So we had a very open challenge saying, anything that is, a, is, is, is improving the partner business or making it more efficient, supporting the, the transition from solution manager to cloud LM, all these different uh, services where partners are in can be part of the challenge. Yeah? So we made some proposals here, and um, the result where we had 12, and this is only EMEA, in APJ we had another, uh, we had even more, and uh, we had 12 solutions. Um, I don't, just in a matter of time, I cannot go in, in the detail now, uh, but very good solutions, and I can really make you curious to join our, our Almaton tomorrow. I mean, this is, these are, this is the other uh, six. They all pitched already their solution, and we had, unfortunately, to select the top six out of these 12 um, to present tomorrow again here live on stage. And you, as, a, as the audience, you will vote which one you like the most. Um, I think all of them are worse. I mean, all these 12 would really be worse to, um, to have a deeper look in it. Um, I also wrote a blog about it, so you can find it where all of them are explained, also with videos, um, if you would like to, to see more. And definitely come tomorrow in the Ahmad, then you will learn more about it. So um, let's do quickly um, the, the last thing, some initiatives that we are doing for partners. And very new, I'm, I'm also proud that I can launch this here at the ALM Summit. Um, we have our 
ELM-Partner Hub, um, where we show references, where we have our commitment partners, where we have the store, the extensions uh, list. And now we extend this, um, uh, this Partner Hub with our ALM-Partner Delivery Suite. And this is the idea that, um, you know, that uh, partners cannot or would not have an own, um, let's say, sent tool typically, but they can build it based on our APIs. All these partner use cases that we've just seen can be bundled in a solution. Yeah? On BTP, make a suite out of it, and, and with that, manage all of your projects uh, very efficient. And we have even some partners, at least yesterday I saw uh, one solution that looks already very, very similar to what we, are, what we are offering here, that is bundling all of that in a hub and brings this opportunity to you. So you don't have to do this on your own again. You just can, if you want, subscribe then the existing solutions from other partners. So therefore, we would like to collect um, solutions. I mean, they have to be some available, either on a subscription or on a service base. Um, and the solution should contain the basic functionality delivery suite. And here, what are they? This is like deployment of the templates, um, op an, an option for a cross uh, customer dashboard, uh, also possibility to get alerts or notifications and this customer support delivery. So these use cases that I introduced now before to you, if they are covered in one solution, um, and I know some partners, they are doing this already, then we would like to provide this um, in our hub as an offering for all the other partners. Yeah? So you don't have to be a development company if you say, I like this kind of solution, how I can make my business with my customers more efficient. We connect you. I mean, we are not a seller. We are not a reseller. We are not commercialized, embedded. We just see it as a hub to connect partners to partners with this approach. Yeah? And we will do this. I mean, this is just a, a mock-up here. In our partner, uh, uh, ALM Partner Hub, there will be a new section where we will list then all of these delivery suites um, with the possibility here with contact and then you can also get in contact with these partners to see if you maybe would like to use their offering um, as well for your delivery. So we will launch this um, by end of or in the next coming weeks and months in the Partner Hub and then you can find there. Another initiative very quick is our committing or committed partners. And I saw already some of you here in the room that gave their commitment. I can only encourage you again for those who would not find their name here yet, uh, please contact us. It's very easy on the Partner Hub. Just send us an email with your logo. Uh, we are happy to share your, your logo as well. And it's not sharing only your logo. We also invite once in a year um, all these partners in that community in, a, in an expert workshop. The next one happens now in, in December. So still the chance for you to join now. And then you might invite it for an expert workshops with the POs, two days in a very deep interaction um, in, in, in Waldorf. We also invite you to our influence councils. So expect to get a lot of good information, feedback from you as you're using it. Um, and yeah, some of them you will hear after lunch um, because I ask them always, um, are you interested to share your experiences with our customers at ALM summits or the, the partner summit. So this is the current hub. Yeah, we have these references. We have all these extensions um, that are available on the store. And this is the so-called partner powered by. So this is this commitment hub. And exactly this page will now be an extended or enhanced with this uh, fourth, um, with the delivery suite approach. Um, also yesterday, it was quickly mentioned in the keynote that we are doing a very uh, intensive rollout as well in, the, in our RISE with SAP partners. So we identified, um, let's say, the top 25 um, big global partners and we are offering them to go in, in workshops to explain them how they can use Cloud ALM, how can they embed Cloud ALM in their delivery so that really um, Cloud ALM gets the main tool for all the with SAP projects. I think this will be our main target for the next two years, and this can only be achieved together with partners. 
yeah, if, if they are embedding it and if they can really add Cloud ALM in their delivery. We provide many developments in that. We saw these dashboards, we have the queue gates, and that's also something that um, Jihad will, will now go um, deeper in it. I skip this for now. Um, a last slide before I hand over to Chihau, and uh, I hope uh, constantly we have more minutes because we go on the lunch break, hopefully. Um, yeah, just some some figures um, of the uh, um, for the yeah what we are doing. We have and maybe I just pick some of them because all of them would be too much. But I think very impressive is figures like that. Yeah, we have 3,300 partners that are embedded and engaged in projects um, of as, uh, uh, with, with an active Cloud ALM. Yeah? So definitely we see that Cloud ALM is active in even more projects, but uh, from distinct partners, it's 3,300 different partners who are in, in projects um, on that. Um, we have 2,050 and maybe in the meantime some more partners who are running their own Cloud ALM. Yeah? They have subscribed it because they are also um, customer. Um, we targeted um, 273 par partners in our roadshows. Um, we, we are running our requirements, uh, our continuous council, um, and we also checked, and uh, even there we had almost 500 requirements that are coming from partners uh, and are getting into our product management directly. Yeah. So just some figures for you. Um, matter of time, we cannot go in all of them. Um, and this is just a little outlook. Um, I think this is most of the things we saw. If you would like to see what comes partners, which events, where we are, or special functions. If you would like to join our community, our partner community, that is the QR code. Um, so this is one of the 404 you can Increase this today if you want, join this, and then I also invite you to a specific partner information, partner calls, and things like that, if you're interested. I know we are a little over time, uh, or not yet, but we will be, hopefully maybe five minutes, but I don't want to miss out to introduce also Chi Hao and give him some seconds to talk, uh, or some minutes, not only seconds, of course. <laughs> To, um, about this rise with SAP methodology uh, from a partner perspective. So let me quickly connect you. I hope you give us these five to seven minutes before lunch. I mean, it will be anyway a long queue downstairs. Between the lunch and um between your session and the lunch, there will be another session by Tim or Elliot in the hall room. Okay. So we need to have that a little bit. Okay, we do. Okay, I'll start. So hello everyone, my name is Chi Hao Huang from the Partner Solution Success Team, so especially for the EMEA region. And uh, I mean, just a quick introduction to my team, yeah? So basically our team is uh, uh, partner facing, and you see that we have kind of uh, partner fit partner benefit catalogs we have for the service for private cloud and also for the pub public cloud. So these are kind of service that we provide to enable our partners and also coach our partners, yeah? So be sure that if you have any questions regarding our solutions or strategies, leverage this service and then you will contact us, yeah? So uh, here I would like to start with the list tool chain. So basically you've already seen this slide more or less, uh, I mean, in yesterday's session. So we have the different solutions here that's uh, making this kind of integrate tool chain. And why am I now emphasizing this again is because that uh, in the end, we really want our partners to get familiar with all these tools that you would like to leverage in your project and also in our competency framework. I sh I'm sure that some of you might know that uh, we are involving, we are adding some more criteria in our competency framework, and these, for example, the, the Linga X and also the Synavio could be one part of the competency framework, yeah? But more information will come. So you, so you see that, okay, from the discover phase, so you, le you leverage 
uh, Signavio and also LingIX to define your 2B architecture and also your 2B process. And then you leverage uh, SAP Cloud LM for the whole project implementation. Yeah, For example, you implement a fitness standard workshop. And then when it comes to, let's say, testing, you leverage this Trisandis. Yeah? And after the project goes live, then it's about, let's say, to, to monitor the system process and operation. Yeah, so that kind of continuous journey that you that you are guiding your customers along this um, uh, cloud journey. So this is kind of application point of view. And then what about these people and also process point of view? So here's kind of summary. And you see that uh, actually from the prepare, we have this onboarding phase. And this is something that uh, yeah, keeping, let's say, mentioned in different sessions. So there will be a uh, onboarding team from SAP. So we have kind of uh, experts sitting with the customers and also partners that we guide you how you can, let's say, onboard the customer on this uh, rise journey. And from there, of course, how to create a success, success plan project in Cloud LM. Yeah, so that's one thing, how to conduct these quality gates in this, uh, uh, in this project and also in the end to get the reports and also let's say to see how the customers and partners can uh, do the follow-up activities to comply to the clean core principles. Yeah? So all these steps uh, will be guided by our onboarding advisor. And of course, there are also some webinars yeah, and also some resources that the onboarding team provides to the customers or also the partners so that they are kind of ensure, okay, all the, all the rice journey will be okay and fine in the end. Then about this transformation incentive, and I, and I think this is uh, more or less uh, pretty important, and I would like uh, all the partners to know that uh, in this slide, there are actually three major components for that I want to mention, yeah? So the first thing is this uh, first 50% of incentive. So that's actually, uh, let's say, can be secured when whenever a customer signs a rice deal, yeah? And at the, at the middle, you see that there are actually these uh, MLAB process, this onboarding process, and there are three sessions provided by this onboarding advisor, yeah? So then namely, they, uh, they introduce the customer and also the partners regarding rice with, uh, rice with SAP, what that really is. And then they help uh, the customer create a clean core success plan project in Cloud LM and also in the end conduct the quality gate. So this is in the middle. And what's important is at the right hand side, so you see that as a partner, it's important or let's say it's mandatory for you to be qualified in this competency framework, yeah? So in the end, when, whenever the customers, let's say select you as an implementation partner, then they can they can get this remaining 50%. Yeah, so this is important just be to be sure that you are actually qualified in this competence framework. Okay, then I will just quickly show uh, in the demo how we actually monitor uh, this, this thing, whether you are qualified or not. So this is kind of a success plan project, yeah, as you can see. And there's actually one field that we are monitoring, and this is this one, leading implementation parting. Yeah? So whenever a project is created in terms of this RISE methodology, be sure that you as a partner is selected here. And then, for example, if uh, 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 NTD Data, Capgemini, or any partner, then it should be selected here. Yeah? So this is how we monitor uh, whether a project is implemented by a, by a partner, SAP, or customer SAP, yeah? Okay, with that, I am done with my presentation. <laughs> just, just one thing ah. to add. Um, I, I think this is, of course, incentive relevant only for RISE with SAP project, mm -hmm. right? Nevertheless, our recommendation is maintain the field always. Yeah, because that it makes also you you claim the project and you clearly say, okay, this project, I am the implementation partner. So this is definitely always recommended. Yeah? For RISE, it's strongly recommended because it has impact on the incentives for your customer and you don't want them that they complain uh, that they will not get the 50% because you, you are not assigned here, whatever. 
but uh, for all the projects, so therefore, my, our mm. recommendation is maintain that field always whenever it's a new project that you are proposing. Thank you, Hal. Thanks, yep, David, David, for the inspiring presentation. And we actually have uh, two or three minutes to take yeah. some questions before you find your way to the forum and forum two for the next presentation. Raise your hand. Felix. Uh, thank you for the good presentation. I think a few follow-up questions. Number one, um, the partner Cloud LM tenant. I'm uh, not sure, is that already capability that's available or is it still coming? Second one, sorry. Um, I saw where, where you presented the Cloud ALM, the ability to forward basically some of the events into a partner Cloud ALM, right? Um, and then immediately after that, you presented the focus run scenario. So technically, can't we still forward events from multiple Cloud a cloud LM tenants from a customer perspective into a partner cloud LM, meaning you can still see multiple customers in that cloud LM, a partner cloud LM tenant. No. Maybe the second question is answered with the first because um, the impression that there is a partner cloud LM, we have to remove from our heads. There is no partner cloud LM. Stop. There is no. Our more fully in our APIs. We say the APIs are more flexible, they are helping partners to realize their individual needs, saying providing or, or uploading any content in a one-to-n, yeah? or getting, I mean, all these use cases that I showed, building dashboards and so on. So that means um, we are not providing an own tool from SAP, we are providing the APIs. And this, this thing, what we just launched, is now the next step where we say we are built, we are offering a platform or an, let's say at least a community of partners who would like to do it, who would like to build such a suite, such a name it cloud ALM for partner solution. Yeah, It's not a cloud ALM, but it's a, it can be an integration hub, it can be a BTP solution, uh, which includes several uh, of these things that you need as a partner. But the clear statement is we as SAP, we will not provide such a one to n solution. And also one cloud ALM as it is available for every, everybody the same, yeah? these 7,000 tenants are the same. There's no capability that allows a one to um, five cloud ALMs to one. So this is just purely not not what we what we currently support, yeah? and also not planned to support. Yes, there were another question. Yeah. Sorry, I have two questions. Um, can we create an ALM and test it and educate our um, partners and uh, um, customers, and then? Can we delete it again and create it again from scratch and start again from scratch? Is that possible? Um, I mean, in general, it's uh, you you get your own tenant, yeah. And uh, if you let's say uh, unsubscribe, it's it's of course um, deleted or removed, yeah. Um, there is then a possibility to make it to to subscribe a new one. This is then not anymore in the direct in the sub for me, so you have to create then a ticket. So it's technical possible. Um, not sure if you really need it uh, because uh, you can create as many projects as you want. You can mm -hmm. hide them. I think I heard also this morning from Michael that they are planning to have archive functionalities. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's not even required. If you have once a tenant, I mean, there's no cost for you. We have also customers, to say it, but uh, they subscribed it, but they never logged on. Yeah, <laughs> we see this sometimes. Yeah. The other question is: yeah. We have um, some customers which are very, very skeptical about new products, and they don't want to use ALM. Is there a necessity to use SSM for them? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, cloud ALM, you mean? Yeah. Yes. Uh, sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I mean a necessity. It's certainly not given. Yeah, there is a 
what we saw from Chihau in the rise with SAP, I would say it's a financial necessity yeah, because um, they would need it to deliver these queue gates and, and the checklists. Yeah? But this is only currently only in the rise with SAP uh, projects the case that part, uh, customers have to provide, um, let's say, the, the filled checklist and the filled queue gates with the service. And this is currently only possible with Cloud ALM. So let's say if you want to name or call this mandatory, then this is the the mandatory part. All the rest is strongly recommended. We try to convince with our benefits, yeah, um, but there is nobody is forced to do it. Yeah. Thank you. Another question? The last one, please. Thank you. Uh, so we are a big partner and we have the customers uh, which uh, hybrid solution. Uh, they have S4 HANA on premise and they have uh, on cloud Ariba, for example. And uh, what is your advice for, for us how to operate that uh, mixed solution, which are partially on cloud and partially on premise, in perspective of, of uh, uh, processes which are connected, integrated? What would uh, uh, right now we have a solution manager, mm -hmm. but we are planning to, to implement also AL, ILM uh, by customer? as you suggest, but how to operate that mixed solution? What is your advice? When, just one, when you say operate, we are we really talking about Support. operations, like, like the monitoring part? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, new innovation. New innovation. New innovation. Okay, both, both parts of, yeah. um, of, of Cloud AM. Okay, because if it's only operations, then my answer would be kind of mixed, because we, um, of course, you can use Cloud ALM already, to monitor also your hybrid environment. Yeah, so we are not limited on cloud. Because cloud is, was, was always our first, let's say our first target. But we, in the meantime, we have all the functionalities that you need to monitor also your on-prem, like your S4HANA on-prem system. Yeah, we have system, or it's called health monitoring, uh, but all the other monitorings are equal or sometimes even better than the one in solution manager. So check for this clearly go for Cloud ALM and do it in your hybrid landscape with Cloud ALM. Um, also for the other parts, implement I mean, implementation would also cover the formerly known charm or change management. It's now a different naming. It's now called deployment. Yeah? And we, we have also here many functionalities that can be used like in, in change management, yeah? like um, managing the transport, um, doing a deployment schedule and so on. And but here we have some things that are not fully um, supporting that what you know from solution manager. So therefore our recommendation is to keep a readiness check for solution manager to see what are you using today in solution manager and what is already covered in cloud ALM. Or sometimes we have even third part or, or, or other uh, cloud services that are covering it. Yeah. So the, there's no clear, yes, you can do everything what you did with Solution Manager today in Cloud ALM. We have some gaps still, yeah, and uh, but sometimes they are not much or not relevant so that you can do your migration already now. If you're dependent on some specific charm features like retrofit or whatever, if this is a core need for you, then you have to postpone and say, okay, we stay in Solution Manager for another 12 months and then do it maybe. Okay, ITSM is a special case because then you could also wait for next year. <laughs> it, <laughs> it won't be there, <laughs> yeah, because we, we, decommissioned, we decommissioned ITSM. So there's no ticketing process in Cloud ALM. Yeah, so you will not have a first level, second level or whatever. This will not come. We have good opportunities in store. So we have partner solutions. Um, that are offering that. Of course, you can use it also with now with your own tool, ServiceNow or whatever is, is possible. But in Cloud ALM, we will not offer in a pure ticketing functionality. Yeah? If you want to connect to SAP, this is what we will offer about on my slide. Yeah? But in the connection between sub support backbone and the second and first level is in your ticket tool yeah? or the, the one from your customer. We have no UIs that are 
like a ticket. Yeah, this is something, and this we can also wait until next year. Mm. I don't think so, or I'm, I'm pretty sure. Thank you for your questions. The next session is just about to start in Forum 1 and Forum 2. Please find your way and feel free to catch David and Jihao yeah. uh, at the venue here. Thank you.